snake. Now, when I snake and drive down, when he hits the mat, I'm gonna keep this hook. I'm gonna get my elbow shallow, and I'm gonna pull his elbow to his ribs, okay? I don't have my ankles crossed right now just because I don't wanna put a ton of pressure on his low back. When I pull this elbow to the ribs, I'm gonna thread my bar across, my chicken wing across. Now, that I have this, and he feels that pressure, He's not gonna be leaning to his right. He's gonna be leaning a little bit to his left, which is fine. But as he's leaning to his left, I'm walking this arm out. Deepest half I can in the world. I wanna get my shoulder and his arm fit. Right here. Have we been here before? Which way should I roll? I can, I can drive and run my half, but I'm gonna roll to my half side. Okay? Now as I have this hooked up, boom. Feet are in the mat, and then we were back here yesterday out of our crab finish. Let that elbow breathe right here. If I want to hook that top leg, if it's not there, I just drop my hip, put my knee in his chest. Okay. So as I'm breaking him down with my leg ride, if I can get that hook, I'm in great shape. Okay. A lot of times when I try to pull that hook up, he'll fight his hand down in his crotch. We'll go to our Chirella from there. Okay. So I'll give you two options: double thigh fry. Swing, stand up, drill, snake. Drive him down, drive him down. I keep my ankles crossed here because I want to keep pressure on his low back. Is his knee floating? Is his knee floating? His knee's not floating? His knee is floating. Pull it in tight, okay? Get your bar. I don't want any part of this to feel good for him. Now, if I get here, okay, a lot of times, if I get here, he's fighting his left hip down, my half's gonna be easy to walk out. See, I'm walking my half out. I'm kind of, I'm kind of twisting his body both ways. I'm, I'm walking my half out, twisting his shoulder up. And I'm also pulling the bar. Like he can't relieve the pressure because he's got nowhere to go. Can't go to his left because of this. Can't go to his right because of my half. Okay. So I really want you to feel, even though it's going to suck for the bottom man, I really want you to feel that pressure. See, I'm extending his shoulder out. He's flat. I'm not even really arching with my legs right now. He just wants to go somewhere to get rid of all this pressure, okay? And I can hop out and run my half around his head or I can roll through. So I can hop out here, let that elbow breathe, and then just stack them up, or I can hit my half and roll through, all right? But I'm here. Once I get that half, just like we were yesterday, all right, nice and tight. Come right down. So again, we're going through the entire process, and then we'll talk about if he hides his hand down low, we'll get to our Chirella tilt. All right, double side price, swing, stand up, snake, drive, 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 secure it, pull it back. Own this elbow right here. Thread my bar, then I'm gonna walk my finger. I literally want you to do that. How tight is that, right here? How tight is that? Yep, boom. He just wants to go somewhere. Absolutely, that's what I just said. I can hop out right here, let that elbow breathe a little bit, and then boom, just run that half. Or I can roll it all the way through, okay? And we've rolled it through and stacked them up and, and finished. But again, everything's tight. Then if I get them there half, bar, and then start giving them, giving them that leg right hip, man, he, he just wants to go to his back. He just wants to go to his back. I get him here, I'll only do it for half a second. All right, it'll be tougher. But when I get here, my ankles are crossed and I get that half, I get right here and arch. Just a little added extra. <laughs> hey, I'm in charge on top, big guy. Okay? <laughs> Questions? What's up? One more game.